The MDIF function within Excel allows us to divide two complex numbers with each other. So let's write this out. We have equal sign MDIF, and then we need to supply two complex numbers. So let's take two plus two I as the first one and two plus I as the second one. As you can see, both of these numbers contain both a real and an imaginary part. The imaginary part is associated with I, which is equal to the square root of minus one. Now I close these parentheses and out comes the result. Now let's pull this down. So we have a result for all of these. And there we have the result of dividing two complex numbers with each other. This is a very useful function within Excel, but let's say you don't have Excel. How would you actually go about dividing two complex numbers with each other? Well, okay, let's say we have two plus two I and two plus I. Let's put this over here. And we want to divide these two numbers. Well, how would you do that without Excel and without the MDIF function? Well, you would make use of the complex conjugate. Now you can get the complex conjugate by writing equal sign M conjugate and we supply to this a complex number and you supply to it the complex number that is in the denominator of the two functions that you are trying to divide. So in this case, it's two plus I. Now the complex conjugate is quite simple. It's simply changing the sign between the real and the imaginary part. In other words, you multiply the imaginary part with minus one. So two plus I becomes two minus I. So what we are doing, we are multiplying this division with the complex conjugate divided by the complex conjugate. So here we have two minus I divided by two minus I, which equals one. And then we multiply this with this division. Now, as you can see in the denominator, we have a complex number multiplied, which is complex conjugate. So now we can simply multiply both the top part and the bottom part. So for this, we can use the M product function. And so we supply two numbers and we get the product. And we also do the same thing for the denominator. Now you can see because we multiply the complex number, which is complex conjugate, the imaginary part is removed from the denominator. So all that's left to do is we divide both the real and the imaginary part by five. So using the M real function, we can take the real part and then divide this by the denominator. So we're getting 1.2. And then we can also use the imaginary function to get the imaginary coefficient of the complex number. And then we also divide this by the denominator, which is 0.4. So in the end, if we use the complex function, we can recreate the complex number using the real number and the imaginary number. I close the parentheses and out comes 1.2 plus 0. 0.4i, which is exactly the result we got when we used the M div function in Excel. So whenever you want to perform a division of two complex numbers within Excel, you want to use the M div function where the first number is the denominator and the second number is the denominator. Do keep in mind that complex numbers are considered as strings or text within Excel. So that's the reason why we need such an Excel function in the first place. We cannot simply use the division symbol because then we will get a value error because we are trying to divide strings as Complex numbers are considered to be strings in Excel. Thanks for subscribing and leaving an optional tip. Consider watching this video next.